Hey guys, in this video, I'll discuss about Bank Nifty and let's check it. Uh, last uh, yesterday, as we discussed, the Bank Nifty is running in a downtrend in a small time frame. I'm not talking right now uh, about the large time frame, I'm talking about the small time frame, right? So, yesterday, I told if price break this level here was right 29562. So, next the target are there 29. To right below 300 points so we can see here so already we as if the target so and at that time I told that some people some uh, like a uh, new trader doing big mistake here and it, uh, I already explained why uh, in my previous video now most of the trader are thinking new trader they broke this 200 level and start selling from this area right so just uh, think about that uh, people who start selling when they are uh, 200 moving average broke and price again reverse from there so we have seen that is a fact uh, breakout so i told you just close your position when they are reach that area around 29 219 in this level so i already drawn i think uh, who people are following me and now we can see price just pushing up a little more right so now question is that where is our entry point today and which direction we can enter so either it will be buy or sell so before I start, uh, let me show you daily time frame, uh, like here. So by the way, my name is Defian Gogoi, technical analyst of Allies Blue, and I'm doing everyday market research in crude oil or bank nifty lead, zinc, whatever. So according to people uh, uh, needed. So you just subscribe my another YouTube channel. I already explained in our description and just go there and visit there. And today I will uh, going to tell you a very secret point. Uh, most of the people are asking me, sir, why I can, how I can control our psychology. I can't control my emotion, greedy, fear, something uh, always happening with me. So I'll tell you a small uh, method how to avoid that your psychology. Most important. And basically I use because I never enter in this. Uh, like without getting uh, buy entry or sell entry I never enter in this market right remember so I'll tell you and then now let's check it in the daily time frame now daily time frame we have seen and this was uh, when uh, government cut the corporate rate so price push up to uh, 30,700 near right so after that we have seen some according to the price action method they are creating lower low and the lower high so in that case where we have seen strong support so most of the people are thinking this is a support right they are following this one this one right and the next we have seen somewhere here support and here support resistance are forming right and uh, some people are thinking here support now we have seen here another support are there right so according to me this is a strong support are there so why i'll tell you so let's check it uh, the market behavior so let me zoom a little more now let's check it previous market behavior and who is moving average following uh, mostly so let's check it so we have seen some bounce uh, price was bouncing from the moving average you can see 150 or 100 almost same bouncing from 100 and 150 100 and the later we have seen the price was bouncing from 100 moving average so by seeing this previous market behavior uh, so now right now we have to find out this candle uh, sorry this moving average so where is uh, this candle 
uh, moving average are there right exactly we have seen some moving average are there right at the level of 28,909 so is it there yeah here we have seen uh, moving average right so in that case we have seen another support most recent nearest right and the recent is here a support and resistance but uh, we have seen here nearest support right is it there nearest support okay let me zoom in a little more right so let's check it have you seen some from this area price push down toward this area suddenly so in that case we have seen uh, from that area sorry in from this area price push down from this area to this level right so we have seen this is a long bearish moment right long moment uh, bearish momentum who uh, price push down toward this 200 uh, moving average now we have seen uh, this is a support are there right and exactly both are forming a support in this area right so similarly you can see another uh, most recent activity of this market so when price reach that area at that time 200 exponential moving average was in daily basis right i'm talking about right now in a daily basis so in this area so similarly we have seen a little more below 200 moving average are there so that is why i want to remove this one from this area to this area so i exactly i place in this area so let's check it now so when i place 200 moving average uh, near 200 moving average this horizontal line and we have seen a strong support are there when price dropped down and there was a key level uh, of support now you can see another when price broke this 200 moving average and again push up and reverse back toward this supporting line and at that time here was acting as a resistance so we have seen this line are uh, respecting both sides right from support and resistance so these two support and resistance are placing a strong support now we have seen this is a uh, supporting zone right so this is a supporting zone now question is that if you want to enter for the sale so you must close your position in this area now another method let me tell you so let's check it uh, this is we have seen uh, so let me draw some like that then you able to find other otherwise something like that like that like that right something like that now in this area we have seen a supporting zone now let's check it when now how we will confirm either market will be uh, market will reverse from this area or it will break this area right so according to my candlestick pattern analysis when i already explained many times again i want to tell you uh, suppose there is a support previous uh, key level price reverse from this area when price is approaching toward the supporting line we are looking for that candlestick price action right so here we have seen like when price is, so now you can see this candle is smaller this is larger and even more larger so when they are approaching this type uh, of candlestick pattern they are forming so this is a high probability to break this supporting line remember why because they are selling like you can say seller or bearish momentum are increasing right and if suppose uh, this is support price reverse back and when they are approaching like that small candle small candle small candle like that so when they're approaching like small candle toward this key level supporting line so it is a high probability to reverse 
from this area now we have to focus on here how candlestick pattern are approaching toward this key level now we have seen this was a uh, small bearish large even large bearish if today candle is more larger then it's a high probability to break this supporting line that is the most important thing right so let's check it now we have seen this is a large candle and even they are posing large candle if today close in this area so in this area in this zone that is a high probability to break this level it will be break this level all right all right guys so i hope you understand okay good now let's check it by using fibonacci right some people are say fibonacci some people are fibonacci so whatever no need how to pronounce right so let me connect this previous higher point and the lower point have you seen so i connect that this higher point and lower point this is a point and this is b point so i connected a b as a hundred so when i connected now you can see price retracing where is the 50 now we have seen this is 50 moving average uh 50 fibonacci zone zone are there so in this area that is the most important thing so once they break this level in this zone so definitely we will go for sell right and if you are looking for uh, if if any candle like uh, weak candle uh, long weak candle uh, pin bar hammer pattern if they're forming in this area and we will confirm that market will reverse from this area now question is that i told you that the one psychological factor i'll tell you so remember suppose where is our entry point now we have seen so let me remove this already they broke no need this supporting line right so we have seen this is a supporting zone now let's go to 15 minutes for our trading entry and exit suppose some people are right now they are trying to enter in this market for the sell so we have seen this is a zone above this supporting zone we never gonna take any buy position remember most of the people are thinking hey uh, price just drop down start buying so we have seen this is a zone so that is why I always find out proper buy and sell opportunity so psychology how we will uh, control your psychology the most important thing before you enter in this market before you going to buy or sell before you uh, uh, going to take any position ask yourself why you want to enter here again i want to repeat when you want to enter in this market at that time you just ask yourself why you want to enter here why if you want to sell here so ask yourself why you want to sell find out the logic find out the trading strategy so just apply it before you enter in this market if you are getting two to three region for sell you start selling if you are getting two to three reason for the buy you just buy it if there is no reason leave it don't enter so i hope you enjoyed this video right if you like this video if you like this video please like and subscribe and if you have any doubt leave a comment definitely i'll try to reply so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching